Welcome to our revision. The exam that I gave you last week, not, not even last week, on Tuesday. So this paper, I promise you, you're going to revise today. And we are going to start with the map work. So map work from number one up to number seven. If you look at the map there, you can see some. For example, there's a road, CD representing cattle dip, permanent buildings. You have this road starting from this direction that is southwest to northeast, where it is draining its water into Lake Maru. Then we have this railway line, and then we have bridges here. Then there's a game reserve. Game reserve meaning maybe there is tourism in the area. Then this one is a quarry. Mining also is practiced in the area. And if you see this forest here, and then you have a sawmill, it means that there's lumbering also, which forms part of the economic activity that you can practice in the area. So as we continue and also learning more about this map, PO, post office, then CC is county commissioner. You have permanent buildings, mosque. It means that uh, the religion being practiced in the area is Islam. Many people in this area maybe are Muslims. Then Ketan Lake, there is uh, animal keeping or livestock keeping, or you can say farming, police station, law and order. The work of the police mainly is to maintain law and order in the area. Then there's a grassland and also a maram road. River and bridge. Then tarmac road. The first question. How many bridges are there in Toga area? So do you know how to count? So let's count together. You have the first one which is here and the second one is here. So we have two bridges in that area. Most of you got that all correct. Who represents the president in Tonga area? Or this area is administered by who? If you look here, the key we have the county commissioner so county commissioner represents the president in tonga area what is the direction of the quarry from the kettle dip so you need to draw your compass here where the kettle dip is then down here you will find the quarry. so it is south east direction that one also is very easy then the railway line is likely to be transporting what? So you go and check where the railway line is. Uh, where is it coming from and where it is going? Then you'll find there is some permanent buildings here. So maybe this railway line is maybe transporting some of the construction materials. So if you look at the choices, we have stones, timber, livestock, and tourists. So you can choose stones, mainly used for construction. The people of Tonga area are likely to go to worship on which day? Remember, we have a mosque, and Muslims mainly worship on Fridays. Christians mainly worship on Sundays, most of them. Then, I don't know any religion that maybe worship on Tuesday. Some of the Christians also, they worship on Saturday, but mainly, most of them, they worship on Sunday. But in our case here, because we have a mosque, will say that people in Tonga area mainly worship on Friday because most of them are Muslims. County government are headed by, sorry, number six. The feature formed at the mouth of River Tari is, so this feature here is what we call a delta. The same, same way River Tana is draining its water into uh, the Indian Ocean. Which one of the following economic activity is not practiced in Tonga area? So transportation, yes, we have road, tarmac road, and also we have railway. Timber business, yes, because it's of a forest and a sawmill. Tourism, yes, there's a game reserve. Cash crop farming, there's no cash crop that is being grown in this area. 
So you can say that it is not forming part of the economic activity that is practiced in the area. Number eight, now away from the map, a county bordering Kenya to the west is what? So neighboring countries, we have Somalia to the, uh, to the east, but uh, from the west we have Uganda. So that one also, most of you got the one correct. A good map should have all the following except So a good map must have a title, compass direction, frame, the key, uh, and also the frame, etc. But a good map maybe must not have color. So that one elements of a good map we learned last time. In which of the following relief regions of Kenya do we find tall grass and acacia trees? On a flat line that is raised, that one will be found in the plateaus. So number 10, the answer there is plateau is not visible, but all of you maybe can be able to understand that question. Number 11, county governments are headed by, or who is the head of a county? All of you know that county governments, we have two types of government. We have the national government and the county government all the 47 county governments are being headed by the governor. Rivers that dry up during the dry season are called, so it means that this river is not permanent because it is drying up. It does not flow throughout the year, we call them seasonal rivers. And then vegetation which grows on its own is what you call natural vegetation. That one that is planted by man, we call it what? Planted vegeta vegetation. Who chairs cabinet meetings in Kenya? Very easy, we have three arms of government. The legislature being headed by the speaker, and we have the National Assembly and also the Senate. So all those two houses, they have speakers. Then the executive is what, is what called the cabinet, and it is being headed by the president. And then the judiciary. So the president of the judiciary is the chief justice. That question was very easy. Kenya's leading mineral export is, is what we call soda ash, being mined uh, at Lake Magadi. So soda ash is Kenya's leading mineral export. The best way to reduce poaching in Kenya is by, most of you uh, failed this question, but just know that anytime you see questions like this, just know that prevention is better than cure. So the best thing you're supposed to do is to educate people or create what's called public awareness so that people will know the importance of conserving wildlife. So educating Kenyans on importance of wildlife or creating what you call public awareness on the conservation of wildlife. Remember wildlife, and our wild animals. But now if you say, most of you are choosing reporting cases of poaching to chiefs, that one also will not help much. But when now the majority of people are educated on the importance of wildlife, they'll be able to conserve or produce poaching. The following are relief features except we have ocean, which is a drainage feature, plain, valley, mountains, and also on hills and plateaus, they'll form what we call relief features. So drainage features, ocean, rivers, and even lakes. So our answer here for number 17 is ocean, which is a drainage feature and not a relief feature. Planting of trees where they have never existed is called, planting of trees is what called afforestation. Cutting down of trees, deforestation. Then reafforestation is like you are repeating now, planting trees where maybe they have been cut down, then you repeat, so reafforestation. Agroforestry means you grow crops at the same time you're also growing trees. Then the instrument here, all of you can see this rain gauge and it is used to measure amount of rain, rainfall. Which of the following mountain is found at the border of Kenya and one, and one of her neighboring countries? So remember, the highest mountain in Kenya is Mount Kenya. Then Mount Elgon, the second highest mountain in Kenya is found at the border of Kenya and Uganda. So our answer is Mount Elgon. A president is elected by, so who elects the president? We have the registered voters, MPs, they don't elect our president here in Kenya, neither do the senators or the chiefs. 
The most uh, or the mode of transport that is most developed in Kenya is, or they can also ask you, the most common means of transport in Kenya is by road. One of the following is not an island. So we have uh, language groups in Kenya. Bantus are the major language groups in Kenya. Then we have the Nilots and also the Kushites. So Nandi, Masai, and Luo, they form part of the Nilotic uh, group in Kenya, but Burji is a Kushite. So the Somali, Bur Burji, they form part of the Kushite groups in, Ke in Kenya. So let's move to number 24. Very easy. Yeah, saying uh, number 24, if you look at the, uh, the paper that I sent you, is about Lorian Swamp. So Lorian, uh, Lorian Swamp has its mouth uh, in River Watt. So which river drains it wa its water into Lorian Swamp? It is Ewasonyiro North. Remember, River Tarquel drains its water into Lake Turkana. Then Ewasonyiro South drains its water into Lake Natron. Then Zoia River, like what? Like, uh, like Victoria. Cotton is pro uh, processed in a factory called, so cotton is being pro processed in the general. Remember, dairy milk is processed in the creamery. Dairy animals in Kenya, which are usually kept in the climate that is cool and wet. So cool and wet favors what we call dairy farming. Which of the following is not a child right? Remember, a right is something that belongs to you and no one is supposed to take it away from you. So as a child, you have a right to education, a right to play, and also a right to live or right to life. But right now, you cannot have a right to vote. So voting in Kenya, you must have attained a minimum age of, 20, uh, of 18 years. What was the name given to the Ameru Senior Council of Elders? So the American Council of Elders was called the jury check. -in. Then they were used maybe to solve disputes in, in the society, that is the Ameru society. Traditional education was conducted mainly by pastors, lecturers, teachers, or elders. So remember in the past, the children were mainly taught by their elders. Then to our last question, so this is our map. This line here is what called the equator. This is like Turkana, which is here, like Victoria, the Indian Ocean. Then the language group, which follows this, this route here also. These are some of the questions that you find being asked as far as this question is concerned. Number 30, the river marked P. So this is the river, the longest river in Kenya that uh, maybe has its source from Mount Kenya, draining its water into the Indian Ocean. And all of you know the longest river in Kenya is River. Tana. So, like I promised you, you, revise halfway up number 30, then you will also continue that work from number 30 up number 60, which we'll revise later, uh, later next week. Otherwise, those who did the work, you did a very good job. Make sure you do corrections, then we'll be able to meet uh, again in our next lesson. Have a good day.